Module 3, Lesson 8, Objective. Extend the use of place value disks to represent 3 and 4 digit by 1 digit multiplication. Say the vocabulary of the day with me. Factor times factor equals product. Partial products. Place value. Unit form. Let's start off with 2 times 324. Let's go ahead and multiply our ones place first. Two times four ones will give me a product of eight. Next, let's multiply our tens place. Two times two tens will give me a product of 40. Finally, let's multiply our hundreds place. Two times three hundreds will give me a product of 600. So now that I have all of my partial products, let's go ahead and add those together to get a final product. Our final product would be 648. Now let's look at this in our place value chart using disks. We have 324, so that means that we have four ones, two tens, and three hundreds. And if we multiply this number right here times two, that means we'll just double all of these. So you can see that we have a total of 8 1s, 4 10s, and 6 100s. Another way to look at this would be 2 times 300s plus 2 times 2 10s plus 2 times 4 1s. 2 times 3 is 6 hundreds. 2 times 2 is 4 tens, 2 times 4 is 8 ones, and this will give me a total product of 648. Now let's multiply 4 times 605. So we start out in our ones place, 4 times 5 ones will give me a product of 20. Next we move to our tens place, 4 times zero tens will give me a product of zero, so we don't even need to write that. And then finally we move to our hundreds, four times six one hundreds will give me a product of two thousand four hundred. Now we add our partial products together to get our final product, and our final product would be two thousand four hundred twenty. Let's now look at this in our place value chart. So I know that I have five ones times four. So there, that means that we would have four groups of five. And there's nothing in our tens place, so this is blank. And then we look at our hundreds place, and we have a total of six hundreds times four. So that means I would have four groups of six hundreds. Remember, if you have a total of 10 ones, then you can move them to the next place. So we have 10 ones and 10 ones, which would give us a total of two tens. Now we look at our hundreds place. We have a group of 10 hundreds, another group of 10 hundreds, and then we have four left over. So that means that we can move a total of two groups over which would give us two thousands. So our total would be two thousand one two three four hundreds and two tens and zero ones. Finally one last way to look at this would be four times six hundreds and four times five ones. So four times six is twenty-four hundreds. Four times five is twenty ones. Now we can split our twenty-four hundreds up into two thousands and four hundreds. And then we can split our twenty ones into two tens. And then two thousands plus four hundreds plus two tens will give me a final product of 2,420.
20. Now we're going to solve 3 times 851 on a partial products drawing on a place value chart. So first we always start off in our ones place and 3 times 1 ones would give us 3. 1, 2, 3. Next we move to our tens place. 3 times 5 tens would give us 150. So we put a 1 in our hundreds column and we put 5 in our tens column. And then we move to our hundreds place and 3 times 8 hundreds would give us a total of 2,400. So we put 2 in our thousands place and we put 4 in our hundreds place. Finally, we add up all of our partial products to get our final product. So you can see that we have three ones, five tens, five hundreds, and two thousands. Which so our final product would be 2,553. Finally, let's multiply 4 times 6,379. So start off in our ones place, and we have 4 times 9 ones, which would give me a total of 36 ones. If we split that up into our tens column, that means we would have 3 tens and 6 ones. Now let's multiply our tens column. So 4 times 7 tens would give me a product of 280. So we put 2 in our hundreds column and then we put 8 in our tens column. Next we move to our hundreds column. 4 times 3 hundreds would give me a total of 1,200. So we put the 1 in our thousands column and we take the 2 and we put 2 hundreds in our hundreds column. Finally, we move down to our thousands column, and 4 times 6,000 would be 24,000. So we take our 2 and put it in our 10 thousands column, and we take our 4 and put it in our 4 thousands column. Now we have our partial products, so we need to add all of these together in order to get our final product. First, we add up our ones column, and we get a sum of six. Next, we add up our tens column. Eight plus three gives me a sum of 11. Put your one in your tens, carry your one to your hundreds. Next, we add our hundreds. Two plus two plus one will give me a sum of five. Then we add our thousands column. Four plus one will give me a sum of five. And finally, our ten thousands column. We add 2 plus nothing, which will be 2. So our final product is 25,516. Now let's look at this in our place value chart. So we just have 6 in our 1's column, so we put 6 down here. Now we have a group of 10, so we know we can move a group of 10 to our next place value, which would be into our 100's. And that leaves us with 110. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 hundreds, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 thousands, and 1, 2, 10 thousands. So our final product would be 25,516.